No, we just tried to, I mean, we just worked on, obviously, um, certain aspects of our game. A lot of it, you know, defensive stuff, uh, you know, offensive stuff. Um, and it was a weird time, actually. So it's a goofy time for a bye, actually. You know, it's, really, it's week two um, because that opening weekend, this was a, it's a, it was, it was a different week as well. But uh, different uh, different having a bye right then. Um, but, uh, again, we think we took advantage of that week. And uh, hopefully that carries over into this weekend. Is there some advantages to having an early bye week after three pretty tough games? I think so, Jared. I mean, there's there's many ways of looking at it. The bottom line is that's it's when we got the bye, so what are we going to do? This, you know, that's the way the schedule shook out. But it also allows you to work on things that you felt you know, needed work. So that's what we did. Um, you guys get to open CCHA play this weekend, and it's kind of the kickoff of uh, a stretch of games that are going to be really tough, right? It's never easy going to Ferris, and then after that, you know, it's a real thick part of the schedule. Just, you know, what's how do you keep the focus on just one game, one shift at a time? Well, that's what you do. I mean, the guys know what they need to do. Um, the coaches, you know, know what we need to do. The bottom line is we're playing Ferris State right now, you know, and, uh, you know, schedules, schedules a dogfight for everybody. Nobody has an easy schedule. Schedule. College hockey, you know, college hockey is competitive. Every league's competitive. Every game's competitive. So, um, again, you, you can't look at, uh, you know, the games uh, next week, two weeks, three weeks from now. It's it's it's, it's all right now, and it's exciting to um, start playing for points, and I think the guys are excited about that. You got a weird week, too, not being able to practice in here. Just how much for the wrench is that throwing into the equation? Nah, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um, we'll practice tomorrow here. Um, at the BCA, and then we'll go to Ferris. Uh, you know, it's just the way again yeah, the way things shake out. But that that stuff's not a big deal. Yeah, that's not a big deal. And uh, um, the guys, we, we, it happens enough during the year that we you know we have to do that. So um, we can talk about some of the things that you guys worked on. Or you know, talk to me about faceoffs because faceoff percentages. Uh, probably something you want to see a little bit of improvement on. Absolutely, we did work on that today. Actually, we you know, after practice, so um, so much. But you need to work on it. But a lot of it's just a mindset. And you know, last uh, week against after the St. Cloud series, we challenged. Uh, we not only challenged our centers, we also challenged our wings. And uh, it's like a, it's, it's like the line of scrimmage. And once that ball is hiked, once that puck is dropped, you know, a lot, there's a lot of 50-50 pucks. That's the one thing. I mean, a lot of face-offs, there's 50-50 pucks. Who's going to win the 50-50 puck battle? And we just felt we lost um, too many 50-50 battles against St. Cloud. You look at guys like Judson Yuri who have better face-off percentages than they did last year. You know, it's like kind of some trust that they're going to, you know, return to the mean a little bit just over time? Yeah, that's what you got to do. I think yeah, there's there's a small sample size right now, and, you know, we'll just make, a, just make sure we look at that. We'll assess that a little bit more after there's a bigger sample size. You know, I, I think that our after the St. Cloud weekend, we were a little banged up, so having the weekend off and getting guys healthy and making sure, um, you know, we're, we're together as a team going into into Ferris was obviously a big focus, and, um, you know, for, for a team aspect, on the ice um, we know Ferris is a physical team their their ranks pretty small so gonna have to, to funnel everything to the net is is a big thing that we focus on this week in the offensive zone so um, and then obviously individually just getting more um, I guess coagulated with the systems understanding where I need to be and, and just kind of playing with the guys that I've been playing with and trying to build more and more chemistry is um, you know a big focus that we've been going after this week too your line has been outstanding this year and I know as a couple of transfers on that line are you a little bit surprised in yourself how well you guys clicked so fast um I mean I wouldn't say surprised um just because I know that all three of us are really good players so um you know it's more just you know getting reps in practice and, and understanding our patterns and, and understanding where guys are going to be is is a big thing that we've been getting after but um you know point production can come from any line whether that be first or fourth so um you know for us that's not really our mentality it's just go out there and play together and play hard and um you know at the end of the day it's been working out for us so you get your first taste of the ccha play this weekend you know what are you most looking forward to about this uh i mean i'm just excited to to get acclimated within the within the division um understand that you know every game every game counts every game counts no matter what throughout the year but um obviously divisional games mean a little bit more to us and um you know i'm just excited to to get on the road with the guys and you know get that first taste of the CCHA games. When you guys are on a bye, and you know there's obviously games going on elsewhere on 
around the country. You know, how in tune are you to, you know, say in Ari Santa and Omaha, you know, Minnesota State, North Dakota, those kinds of series? Yeah. Um, you know, whether we're whether we're playing or off, I think it's it's pretty common for guys to check out other games and, and see what's going on around the league. And, um, you know, obviously when you have an off weekend, you're even more inclined to, to check out the other games. So, um, you know, I think that's just part of, part of hockey is checking out your opponents and even when you're whether you're playing or whether you're not playing is, is making sure you understand who you're playing against when you do come up to those teams. Does that kind of create even a little bit more urgency to, you know, get back after it after weekend off? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me personally, I, I, I like weekends off just to rest the body, but I also not a big fan of weekends off just because, um, you know, I like to go. I like to play games. I like to, to get after other teams. So, um, you know, I'm just I'm fired up to, to get back after it this weekend. Uh, yeah, I mean, we played two really good teams, uh, learned a lot, and uh, I think we're going to uh, come come out stronger for this upcoming weekend. So I was, they helped, helped us a lot for the upcoming weeks, I think. You had a pretty good bye weekend, yeah. Yeah, it was great. We had a good time with the boys, and we had a great uh, week of practice, so we're ready for this week. You had a one-on-one. Yeah, I did, actually. My first one, that was that was insane. And the best part was, like, I was playing with Chitsi, and uh, the other guys were at hole 16, so they were, like, right there and running up to the to the hole with us and everything so that was just uh, insane what uh so you were on you were on 16 no i played on hole seven seven yeah okay and they were down there so they they came running up and all were just hyped and everything so it's it was crazy what club did you use pitching wedge pitching wedge yeah you know, talk about what those moments can do for a bye week year away from the week from the rink for a weekend away from the road you know it's early in the season you guys are still getting to know each other a little bit and how important is just the little things like that yeah it's it's super important and like we we got a new uh, a new group of guys so to be able to like hang out and get to know each other that's that's super important for the team and for the rest of the year so yeah of course a bye weekend is it's it's boring to not play games but i think it's it's good for a group overall so it was it was great congratulations thank you same thing i you know, you, you guys went from playing in a huge rink at St. Cloud State, and now you're going to this small little thing different. Have you seen a rink like Ferris State before, or are you used to playing anything like that, or, you know, how do you get used to it? I don't know. I, I didn't play that uh, that game last year, so I'm, I'm not, I haven't been there, so I don't know, but I heard it's a small rink, so... Uh I mean, it's probably going to be fast, physical, and on all that stuff. So we just got to be ready for it and uh, and know what we're coming to. So I, I think it's, it's it will be fine. I think. How important is it to go out and get wins this weekend, first weekend of CCHA play? Oh, super important to to have a good start is is always great. It's a great feeling and a good feeling for a group too. Like come in with uh, some positivity in the early of the year. So that's that would be huge for sure.